Hello and welcome to Man Cave Media. On this channel I talk about beer, sneakers, tech, and toys. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Also, please connect with me on social media. I'm on Instagram at media.mancave and on Facebook and Twitter at mancavemedia.org. And finally, if you enjoy listening to podcasts, please check out the League of Sedentary Gentlemen. We're available wherever you get your podcasts or direct from our website at man-cave-media.org. All right, uh, in this tutorial, I'll be telling you how to get a PS5 without even trying. Let's go. All right, so yes, uh, I absolutely meant what I said. I was able to score a PS5 with almost zero effort, zero effort. And no, I didn't pay a scalper. This came directly from Sony. Didn't overpay, didn't, didn't pay a scalper, didn't hunt around, didn't stand in line. Really, no sweat at all. Uh, all I did was I kept my Sony direct account current. That's all I did. Uh, I got an email from them randomly. I wasn't even looking to buy a PlayStation 5. I'm always uh, years behind the, the most recent consoles. Like my PS4 is only two years old and wasn't even in the market. And I got an email out of the blue from Sony. Um, Congratulations, you're invited to purchase a PS5. And it had a time slot and a date. And I figured, why the hell not? <laughs> this thing's so hard to get. Um, I mean, why not? I'll give it a try, see, see if I'm able to get in. I went to their website on my designated day and time slot and it was very painless. I, I waited for about 10 minutes, maybe, um, in a queue to get into the website. Uh, once I got in though, smooth as butter. Added it to cart, paid, no problem, no glitches, no your card is empty, no kicking me out, no please log in again. None of that, none of that. Smooth, seamless, effortless. And yeah, so if you're looking for the best way to cop a PS5 without paying a scalper and you know with, with very little effort, keep your Sony account current, man. And uh, just keep checking your email. I guess if you, you know, it couldn't hurt to express some interest that you actually want the console. Like I said, I didn't really express any interest at all and I still got the email. Um, so maybe the trick is not to buy anything. <laughs> you know, try to push you like, hey, spend some money. Um, but yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't even trying. And so keep your Sony account current, um, log in, check stuff out, and maybe you'll get that email, that invite to, uh, to purchase the console. So anyways, uh, I know I'm extremely late to the game with this. This thing launched almost a year ago today. Um, but still going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing. I also, I grabbed an extra controller just because, um, I have kids. I like to have two controllers, so grabbed an extra one. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's dive into this box and check it out. Oh man! And uh, right off the bat, this thing is heavy, man. I mean, heavy. Goodness gracious! So I thought for a moment about maybe selling this thing since, you know, they go for so much money online still, uh, even a year later, but I don't know, the, the temptation to keep it and the scarcity of it, how hard it is. And, uh, even though my PS4 is only about two years old, I did buy it broken and I refurbed it myself. And it's had a few hiccups with the OS here and there. So I don't know if it's the hard drive that I used or if I need to reinstall the OS again or what's going on. But anyways, it's excuses I'm making in my head to keep this thing, I know that. Um, but anyhow, let's continue. Oh my goodness, this, this thing is so huge. Ugh. So 
So after you open the outer box, you're greeted with another box. No tape this time though. So huge, I can't even keep this thing in frame. Can't do this one on the table either. It's like Russian nesting dolls, man. All right. So the top layer, <laughs> I'm, I'm peeling away this onion here. The top layer has some paperwork. We have the power cord. We have what looks to be the base stand. it is we have oh nice it included HDMI cable thank you Sony right. I'm gonna put the paperwork away I'm not gonna read it over here we have the included controller oh it's got some good weight to it this, I, I don't know anyone that has one of these yet um, outside of like a few co-workers but I have yet to have, you know, one of these in hand. And, you know, in the past, uh, the PlayStation controller has been one of my favorites. So I was excited for this thing. And it, man, it feels really good in hand. It's got, it's got good weight to it. Um, excited to use this thing. I'm glad I opted to grab a second one while I was there. All right, anything else in here? Ah, USB cable. Pretty good quality. USB-C cable. Thank you again, Sony. All right, that includes the top layer of this massive package. Now we're getting to the meat and potatoes here. This thing is a beast. An absolute unit. down already uh, Sony PlayStation 5 she's a beaut ain't she so right away you can tell I went with the disc version because um, I'm old-school like that number one number two I have some a I have some uh, recently purchased ps4 games that I would like to play on this guy so uh, disc version was a must hot mess over here all right really quick so I can uh, so I can turn off my overhead camera let's get into the extra controller really quick I went with the black one which is kind of against the grain right now. Everything I've been going with is uh, white right now, recently. But uh, I really like the look of the black one, so thought about getting the red one. Ah, my goodness. Oh, I ripped the box. Guess I can't resell it. As with the big one, opening the big box, you're greeted with another box. Boxes on boxes on boxes. Yo dog, I heard you like boxes. Here's a box so you can box your box. And bam. Oh. Wow, 
well. When it's turned on, I hope it looks a little bit more, you know, wow. But yeah, there's the black one. Same feel in hand, obviously, but uh, just thought I'd mention that. And I mean, I like it. It looks really good. One thing that's concerning me though, it doesn't look like they included a cable with this one. Nope. Sony. Fail, man. No soup for you. So you might want to make note of that. If you buy an extra Sony controller, they don't give you the cable. That's uh, interesting, but can't say I'm that surprised, but interesting nonetheless. <sighs> All right. Um, I have zero PlayStation 5 games, <laughs> but uh, I, I do have a couple of recently purchased. I mean, I guess they're not really that recent. Gosh, um, people who are really dying to get this console, you guys are going to be furious with me right now, but it's really going to be wasted on me at the moment um, for a little while, probably. But what can I say? Um, like I said, keep your PlayStation accounts active check your email make sure that if you use uh, Gmail or anything like that um, that your Sony emails aren't going to your spam folder and if you get that invite man use it it's a uh, the easiest way by far uh, to grab one of these guys so um, I guess in the future um, when I get my first like ps5 title or even a more modern game I haven't I haven't bought any new games for a while but uh, when I get my first like PS5 title, I guess I'll do some gameplay. Um, but other than that, I do have a D brand skin on the way. So when the D brand skin arrives, uh, I'll do another video, um, uh, just a quick one on the D brand skin because I've been told by people who already have this that this front panel scratches very easily. Um, so I'm gonna be very careful with this guy right now. <laughs> and when that D brand skin arrives, um, like I said, maybe I'll do another video on that one. So. Uh, like and subscribe and stay tuned so all right uh i suppose i can get some b-roll and some close-ups let's go All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, just a quick story and unboxing. Um, please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great evening, and like always, thank you for watching.